Hey everyone, this is Raven from Digi Integrative. Welcome to Tech News Episode 286. Jio merges as the biggest fixed line broadband provider in India in November 2021. Jio added 0.19 million broadband subscribers while BSNL recorded a dip of around 0.5 million subscribers in November 2021. With 4.37 million broadband subscribers in November 2021, Jio leaves behind BSNL with a subscriber base of 4.2 million. Jio Estonia has announced a strategic partnership with the University of Oulu. This collaboration will explore the application of 6G network. The network will enable future wireless end-to-end solution for a wide range of end-user requirement. OneWeb and Hughes Communication India has joined hands to provide low earth orbit satellite broadband services across India. Both the companies have announced a 6-year distribution partner agreement for this same. The joint venture between the two companies follows a memorandum of understanding signed by the companies in September 2021. Oppo started teasing the Reno7 series launch in India. Oppo Reno7 series might include a Reno7 5G and Reno7 Pro 5G in India. The Reno7 series is expected to launch this month. Realme CEO Madhav Seth has revealed that there is a Realme 9 Pro Plus on the way. Now the company Twitter's account has made it official. This will be the first phone to bear the Pro Plus designation among the Realme number series. Madhav Seth has confirmed that most Realme smartphones launching in 2022 will be a 5G compatible. He further confirms that Realme 9 and 9 Pro will soon launch in India. Realme 9 Pro series to come with a 5G support. According to a new report, the Samsung Galaxy S22 series will be launching on Feb 9. The Galaxy S22 series will include three devices at launch. The reported launch date could be only for China. The MIUI 13 global launch has been teased by the company's India head and the global VP Manu Kumar Jain. It brings features like faster performance, new widgets, improved privacy and 3GB virtual RAM etc. Xiaomi, Redmi and Poco phones will get this update over the next few months. Marketing material for the Redmi Note 11 series has been leaked online. It comes with a Helio G96 processor while the Snapdragon processor would power the Redmi Note 11 Pro 5G. Other specifications include a 120 Hz AMOLED panel, 108 megapixel quad camera setup and a 5000 mAh battery which supports 120 W charging. Realme GT Neo 3 may already be in works as a successor to the Realme GT Neo 2s. The Realme GT Neo 3 may use a MediaTek Dimensity 8000 processor. A new leak suggests that GT Neo 3 may arrive sometime in March. The OnePlus Note phone may soon launch under rupees 20,000 in India. The budget OnePlus Note smartphone will be powered by a MediaTek chipset. It will have a 90 Hz AMOLED display, 50 megapixel cameras and a 5G connectivity. The Note CE2 will go officially in February, while the OnePlus 10 Pro global launch is expected to happen in March. Apple has reduced the trade-in value of Android phones. Apple only accepts Samsung and Google phones for trade-in discounts. Apple will now cut as much as 110 US dollars from the phones it takes. Microsoft Surface Pro 8 and Surface Pro 7 Plus are two-in-1 convertible laptops that can also operate as tablets. Both the models will go on sale in India starting from Feb 15. Pre-orders on either laptop will fetch buyers a free Surface Pro signature keyboard. A new partnership between the parent company of the Bot brand and Dixon will provide wireless audio solutions in India via array of audio products. Imagine Marketing Private Limited which owns a Bot brand of audio accessories has announced a joint partnership with Dixon to manufacture wireless audio devices in India. Both the companies will have an equal stakes in the new venture and they hope to evolve an India centric strategy that will see it producing wholly made audio products from the subcontinent. Today Huawei announced its partnership with Curve which enables contactless payments in stores using NFC chip on new HMS powered Huawei smartphones. For those who are unaware, Curve is a smart wallet service that gather all of your credit and debit cards in one place for easier payments in stores. Something like Google Pay and Apple Pay but since Huawei cannot use those for an obvious reasons, it found a way to enable it via Curve. Instagram is testing a new business model in the US market. This company has started a new subscription based service that will let its American users subscribe to small number of creators and influencers on its platform. 
Vivo Pad is said to have a Snapdragon 870 chipset and a punch hole display. Other specifications might include a 120Hz display, 8000mAh battery and a 44W fast charging support. Vivo Pad has already received the TUV Rainland certification. MG Motor to bring out an affordable electric car for the masses by last quarter of financial year 2022 to 2023. MG Motors new affordable electric vehicle will be priced between rupees 10 to 15 lakhs. MG Motor to bring out facelifted MG ZS electric vehicle with Ada similar to Ice Twin MG Aster. Yamaha EMF electric scooter has been launched in Taiwan with a unique futuristic design. This electric scooter comes with a last parking location, 100 km per hour top speed, fleet management system and turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Yamaha EMF electric scooter price starts at Rs. 2,77,000. The Samsung Galaxy A53 5G is an upcoming mid-range smartphone expected to launch soon in India. It will feature a triple camera setup and a punch hole display. This phone is expected to be powered by an Exynos 1200 chipset. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share and subscribe. And follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.